Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here coming to you live for a leadership and a business tip today. As we get started, let's go ahead and get acquainted. If you don't mind, shout out below who you are and where you are tuning in from. And if it is your first time watching, click number one in the comments. I would love to warmly welcome you. Don't forget, click the share button right now. Share it on a team page. Do a little watch party. Share this in the inbox with a friend because remember, as always, the more who know, the greater your team will grow. We've got so many things to talk about today. A four little word. Yes, it's an F word. The things that are keeping you, don't worry for those of you who are offended, I'm not going to swear at you. It's fear. The things that are holding you back in your business and how you can crush your goals and conquer that fear. I'm going to be talking to you about why I almost didn't launch my coaching program yesterday and basically how you can relate it back to the things that you're doing and you're learning. I'm also going to give you some thoughts on Rachel Hollis too. Anybody like Rachel Hollis? Give me a shout. I'm here. Okay. So um, you're going to want to make sure that your team tunes into this today. As you're introducing yourself, I'm going to introduce myself for our first time watchers. Who am I? I am Sarah Robbins. I'm a former kindergarten teacher turned one of network marketing's top leaders. Together with my team, we've built a team of over 300,000, do over a billion dollars in sales just in a year, and we've built one of the top network marketing teams worldwide. Um, as a result, I do share my best practices in my best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. You can find it at my site, sarahrobbins.com or Amazon. I also share my entire um, library of digital courses in the Network Marketing University, also on my site. But as of yesterday, you get complimentary access to it through my coaching program, the Network Marketing Inner Circle. And um, if you haven't registered for it yet, let me just say, I told you I was going to give 100 spots a seven-day trial. We hit that number in just a couple hours. So I'm going to open it up to just a few more. So if you missed the video yesterday, it felt so bad. I didn't have a lot of time to get it out and people acted so fast. I'm going to extend it and just give you a little bit of grace over the next few days. So please get up there right away. Go to the networkmarketinginnercircle.com. Can somebody type that in the comments real quick? Only if you know how to type it, please, because I don't want people clicking on the wrong website. In fact, if you want to pull it up, make sure it's okay, and then copy and paste and put it in the links, the networkmarketinginnercircle.com. So I almost didn't launch it. I'm going to tell you why. But first, I'm going to tell you guys about it if you are new and you haven't heard about it. Um, for the first time in 12 years, people have been saying to me all the time, do you do coaching? And I'm talking top leaders in the business. And I, by the way, top, top leaders in network marketing, tons of companies who join for brand new people who are like, man, I want to learn from the best. I want to have success right away. When I shorten the learning curve, I want to simplify the process. And I've always said, no, it wasn't because I didn't want to. It was because Quite frankly, I didn't have the time to. I was so busy. I sponsored 300 people, helping people walk out their why. I've got a toddler too. And um, we've gotten to a really great place. We've crushed goals, we've broken records in the industry, became the darlings of direct sales. And I started to look and say, complacency. I don't want to camp in that place. I want to be challenged. What is my why today? Well, I decided my why is helping you to walk out yours. So I'm creating an inner circle and I'm expanding it besides and opening it up to. Um, others besides just those who joined my personal team. So you have a chance to join what it's going to include. I don't need to sell it because if you don't see the value in it, it's not for you. It includes weekly coaching with me. You guys, every single week. I wish I would have had the opportunity to have a top earner in network marketing mentor me every single week. <laughs> it includes weekly coaching. Second thing that includes is open office hours with me. So it's like, you can ask me anything. People are always like, man, what do you do in a day? How would you handle this objection? How do you approach this, that, the other? Tell me, how did you generate your leads online? No paid advertising money. I'm gonna tell you how, and I'm gonna answer everything. And this part I'm the most excited. We're having so much fun in there is already a private Facebook group where we're already strategizing, sharing ideas, creating community, community camaraderie, collaboration, challenges, surprises, prizes, and more. And I can promise you this, it's going to be one of the most collaborative and caring communities in network marketing. Um, I'm going to be spending most of my time from here on training there over the next couple weeks. I'm going to be making that shift. So that's where you'll find me. Um, plus complimentary access to my network marketing university, university, thousands of dollars of classes for free. 
Um, and I'm giving a seven-day free trial. I'm opening it up to just a few more, and then um, if you want to be a part of it, go register. NetworkMarketingInnerCircle.com. But guys, okay, so for today's free training, I almost didn't do it. It was a project 12 years in the making, and I almost didn't do it. I faithfully prayed for it. It was a burning dream and desire and passion in my heart over the years. Um, I prayed over the project. I, pe I prayed and continue to pray over the people and the businesses and the blessing that would come from it. Um, and I truly believe that the anointing on me for business would transfer onto that. And I was so excited. But I tell you, when it came time to pull the trigger, I almost didn't do it. First reason why. And by the way, I'm going to talk about how all of this relates to you and how you can literally kick fear to the curb and crush your goals. Okay, you guys want to hear that today? Because I know there's something y'all fear. If I'm telling you, I've had great success in this business and I was fearful. I'm sure you can all relate. Have you ever been fearful before? Somebody like give me a comment so I don't feel alone in this right now. I'm not the only one who's had fear, right? Right? Okay. Um, so a few things. Number one, I feared the process. It was like, I knew I wanted to do this thing. I knew I had this goal. I knew I could be successful in doing it. I knew I could help other people, yet how was I going to do it? Like website things, promoting things, all of these things. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I got caught up in the process. How many of you get caught up in the process of prospecting, presenting, closing people, whatever the case may be? You're like, I know I want to be successful in network marketing. I believe in it. I believe that I can help other people through it. I know I'll be a great leader. I know I'm going to care a lot about my customers, yet I just need to know the process of like how to get there. That's why you need mentorship, and that's why you need coaching. Because I had to surrender all of that and literally call my web people, call my marketing people, and just say, help, like I'm stuck. And I had to just get past that. And now, you know, that dream, it's coming into fruition. All right, another one. Does anybody else, and by the way, can you guys comment below, tell me what is your greatest fear? And I'm going to read them, and I'm going to reply to them. Now, you got to give me some time, though, throughout the day, okay, because I've got a little boy here, too. But um, tell me, what is your greatest fear? What's keeping you from being successful, okay? Next one, fear of failure, okay? I'm going to tell you the truth. I was like, what if I launch this and, like, nobody joins? I have 300,000 people on my team, and I have influenced millions of people in the network marketing industry. I wrote a best-selling book on network marketing. Yet, can you believe I feared failing? I was like, what if, like, 10 people don't join? You guys, I told you I had made spots. First 100 people got a seven-day free trial. We hit over 100 people in a couple hours. But I was afraid that I wouldn't even find 10 people to do it. Okay, so fear of failure. You are seeing these common correlations here that fear literally is a lie. We're buying the lies. Fear is a liar. It tells us all the things that we can't do. Next one, fear of success. Guys, I literally feared launching this because I thought, um, what if I'm successful doing this and people are jealous and envious of me? I had to make a shift and instead of saying, oh, people are going to be upset if I'm successful in doing this and I help to raise up leaders, I had to instead say, you know what? People are going to thank me. They're going to thank me for training up their team and empowering their team. It's gonna have a positive effect on people's business. And the last one, this was the biggest one for me. It was gonna be fear of what other people would think, specifically my peers. People make up stories all the time. Why is she doing this? And then this morning I read, you guys wanna hear? Literally, opened this up during my prayer and devotions and I read this verse. And I think it doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are, it's something that you can relate to. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord will be kept safe. I'm going to say it again. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord will be kept safe. You see, it's a God-inspired dream that I had to start this coaching program. He put it inside of me. And it's not just a goal when it connects to your soul. I call that a soul goal. Can anybody hashtag in the comments below soul goal? Like you have this burning dream and desire in your heart to have a successful business so you have more time, so you have more money, so you can bless more people. And it literally keeps you up awake at night. It's not just a goal when it connects to your soul. It's a soul goal. 
And my goal with this program is to raise up the future of network marketing leaders who will also, like my husband and I have, open up orphanages, feed and serve children and families overseas, abroad, in the United States. I have people on my team who are adapting children thanks to building successful businesses. And it is my goal, it is my commitment, it's my sole goal to literally raise up the future leaders in, in network marketing. And instead of focusing on the numbers, I had to focus on the impact. So what if 10 people join? So what? What if I raise up the next Sarah Robbins who's gonna go and open up orphanages in India? What if I raise up that next leader who goes and adopts five children because they built a successful business? You see, I would do it for the one. I would pursue the one. Does that sound familiar to anybody out there today? You see, here's the thing that I know for sure. Other people's blessings are tied to your obedience. Not just your blessings. Yes, your blessings are tied to your obedience. You showing up, you saying yes, you crushing fear and conquering your goals but other people's blessings are tied to your yes, your obedience too. And I decided this fire, this passion in my heart, I will not die with this dream inside of me. I will not die with this dream inside of me. I decided, I drew a line in, my, in the sand. I will do all of the God-given ideas, all of the things that God gave me ideas for in 2019 and 2020. They will all be done this year and next. You just wait. Wait to see how God uses me as a vessel. 2019, you guys, literally, right now, I believe that we're in a season of shifting, right? We're in the ninth month, it's birthing season, and 2020 is going to be a year of breakthrough, perfect vision. So we're birthing, and then we're breaking through. And I believe there is no dream or desire in your heart that cannot be fulfilled, but we've got to crush that fear. You know, we have got to crush the, that fear. I want to help you guys to fulfill your dreams. Success in this business, in network marketing and direct sales, it is a vehicle to give you the time and the resources, the money to get there. I hope you guys join me in this program, by the way. Like, this is not the time to drag your feet, the season that we are in, and the opportunity that you have to learn from somebody who's walked the road, who's shortened the learning curve, simplified the process. Go to the networkmarketinginnercircle.com now. Get your seven-day free spot. Yes, I know you just want eyes on it for you know free time. That's fine, but commit to it, you guys. Even if you say, I'm committing to it for this amount of time, watch to see how it changes your business and your life. How is fear holding you back in network marketing? I want you to post it in the comments below. What is keeping you from crushing your success? Is it fear of success? Is it fear of failure? Or is it fear of man, other people's opinions? All right, so let's talk Rachel Hollis. She inspired me, literally. It was like, during my convention, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, ugh, and I already have the program ready to launch. I'm like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, because I was listening to those voices. And she said, you know what the difference is between where you are and where you need to be? It's knowledge. How badly do you want it? You guys, if you want to be successful in network marketing, the knowledge is there for you. I'm saying, hey, invest in yourself. Do you guys know, like, to buy one of my courses? It would cost you double to buy one than it would cost for you right now to get mentored by me for an entire month. The knowledge is there, but how bad do you want it? Knowledge is readily available. Ignorance on a subject, that's your choice. Knowledge is not power, she said. Applied knowledge it's pow is power. It's what we do with it. It doesn't matter what you know. It matters what you do. That's why, you guys, you need accountability. You might need something other than your upline or your downline. You might need to be in a supportive, collaborative environment. You might have to, you know, shift scenes a little bit, right? Change your environment. So why don't you do it? Because it's hard. It's hard, right? I love what she said. She said, you didn't lose your faith. It just got hard. But what you're saying is too hard is actually a blessing. Walking out your why and helping other people to do a sa the same, that's a blessing. And being a small business owner in this country is the backbone. Being a small business owner in this country is the backbone of this country, and it is a blessing. So guys, call to action today. You take ownership, it's on you. If you're the problem, you're also the solution. So solve the problem. You have everything that it takes inside of you, but it's about making a decision today, drawing that line in the sand to literally say, I'm not fearing people's opinions. I'm not fearing success or failure. I'm gonna fear dying with the dream inside. 
because you are capable more than what you're putting in. Some of you guys have, as she says, a hobby you call a business, but it's not a business because a business makes money. So if you're calling yourself a business owner, it's time to level up. Nobody's going to save you but you. And I always say, you don't need a new opportunity in the new year. You need a new commitment to your opportunity. What you need is an accountability partner. What you need is find somebody, by the way, to sign up for the free trial with you and to commit to the monthly coaching. You need a mentor. You need somebody who's walked it. I don't care what company you're in. I don't care what level you're in. I'm going to help you level up regardless. And you need a collaborative community of people who believe the same things surrounding you, who are speaking life into you, into your dream. That's why I created that coaching program. And that's why I decided my why was bigger than the fears that were holding you back. So guys, will you trust me? Are you going to partner with me? I hope so. If you've already signed up, shout out below. Um, but again, you can go to the networkmarketinginnercircle.com now to be a part of my weekly coaching live Q&A and one of the most collaborative communities in network marketing. Let's crush it. Let's conquer fear. Let's persevere. And let's chase those big, exciting goals of yours together. All right, guys, tell me what's holding you back. Put it in the comments, and then you guys, you know your team needs to hear it. Share it on a team page or do a watch party or in the inbox with a friend. Because as always, the more who know, the greater your team will grow. Did you guys get something from this today? All right. I hope to see you guys inside of the Network Marketing Inner Circle. I love you guys. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. I'll get back to your comments real quick. If you have questions about the program, post them below too. Talk to you later.